assume you all have heard of Newton's laws of physics, and if you're an avid reader like me, you've probably also heard of the law of attraction. Now, what if I told you a parallel universe exists? Well, maybe not the one Stephen Hawking was trying to explore, but one which awaits exploration nevertheless, one governed by the laws of imagination. But in the metaverse, there are no laws. The only thing which inhibits you, the only thing which can inhibit you, is also your greatest asset. I'm talking about your mind. The internet is very much alive and kicking. Today, I'm here to talk to you about a relatively newer generation of the internet, Web 3.0. So let me take you back where it all started. Web 1. Read only web pages and static websites. You could only read information which is broadcasted to you. Then came Web 2, with sites like Twitter and Facebook. User-generated content became the new norm. Web 3. The upcoming generation of the internet. Powered by technologies such as artificial intelligence, blockchain, and augmented reality and virtual reality, Web3 is a whole new world. Let's go over some basic keywords which may help you understand Web3 a little better. It's something everybody knows of but nobody really knows about. Cryptocurrency and NFTs. So what is cryptocurrencies? Cryptocurrencies are digital or virtual currencies and they're secured by cryptography. This makes two things virtually impossible, double spending and counterfeiting. Moving on to NFTs, non-fungible tokens. Digital assets, which can be anything from a piece of art, a painting, a piece of calligraphy, maybe even a piece of pottery, or if you want to put it that way, even if you download your brain into an AI chip and convert it into a digital asset, well, that's an NFT right there. The key thing about NFTs is that there is only going to be one NFT of one kind in the whole world at any given point in time. You can trade it, you can sell it, you can make a lot of money off of it, but there's always just going to be that one piece from that one creator. Earlier, I mentioned the metaverse. The metaverse is a place where various aspects of your real life, your social media, online gaming, augmented reality, artificial intelligence, machine learning, blockchain, cryptocurrencies, and NFTs all come together to give you the virtual, elite, immersive experience. An immersive universe where your real and physical words converge. Moving on, what is a coin? A coin is one basic unit of a cryptocurrency. Jaise aapke ek rupay mein ek sao paise hote hain, usi tarah har cryptocurrency ka jo sabse basic unit hota hai, wo ek coin hota hai. Bitcoin. The world's first cryptocurrency and also the world's reserve currency. Aksar mulkon ke jo bank reserves hain, wo dollars mein pade hue hote hain. Usi tarah cryptocurrencies, jitni bhi major cryptocurrencies hain, ya even jo choti cryptocurrencies hain, un sab ne apne currency ke liye jo reserves rakhe hote hain, wo bitcoin mein rakhe hote hain. Stable coin. Stable coins are coins jinke fixed exchange rates hote hain kisi bhi real life currency ke saath. It's called being pegged to a certain currency. It can be the dollar, it can be the euro, it can be the pound, it can be even the Pakistani rupee for that matter. Marketplaces. NFT marketplaces are digital platforms. You use them to store, display, buy and sell NFTs. Some of the very famous names in these marketplaces are Foundation, OpenSea and Rarible. Crypto wallets. A crypto wallet is just like any other regular wallet, only that it's powered by blockchain and it can store cryptocurrencies and NFTs. Minting. Minting is a process of converting any given piece of digital data into a digital asset or into an NFT. Gas. Gas fee is a fee you basically pay for minting or for any other transaction you make on the blockchain. I'm going to give you a movie reference here. Enough with the information overload. Do you remember Inception? A dream within a dream within a dream? Well, that's precisely how Web3 operates. It's a world within a world within another world. So I suggest all of you go to your research and go exploring. This is probably your only chance, by the way, to get anywhere close to Marco Polo and Abdel Batuta in today's day and age. So, good luck.